you might think, especially if you've lived in Philly a while, is this something new that we have beavers in our parks cutting down trees? Uh, the answer is kind of like yes and no. Beaver in Philly uh, sort of date back to millions of years before Philly was Philly, right? And then let's say around mid 1600s, the Dutch started trading with Lenni Lenape and other indigenous groups for beaver pelts to sort of trade back to Europe. That increased demand for beaver pelts, uh, wiped out beaver in our area by the time that Philadelphia got set up as Philadelphia by William Penn in the late 1600s. And so then if we really fast forward into the mid or early 1900s, by that point, beaver had been wiped out in, in all of Eastern North America for the most part. Game commissions like the PA Game Commission started releasing beaver that they had caught out west, and those beaver had sort of a, just, just an open field in Pennsylvania, and they started spreading all across PA, and it seems like they got to Philly by the 1990s, um, and then started getting a lot more common in the past 20 years or so. So on the one hand, it is kind of new. On the other hand, what we're seeing is an animal that has been part of the landscape longer than humans have, coming back and occupying the landscape and sort of picking up their place on the landscape and picking up their place in Philadelphia. And they can be hard to live with in some ways. Like if you're trying to restore forest canopy and you're planting all these trees and you spend a lot of money and energy on these tree plantings and the beaver are just like, yum, and eat all your trees, <laughs> that's really frustrating. We went through a lot of work for this. And so you might have to adapt by protecting particular trees you don't want them to, to eat. You might have to plant more species like willows that bounce back pretty well after they're, they're cut down and eaten by beavers. Um, but it's, a, it's, it's sort of a fun complement to our city that we've got waterways that are clean enough, we've got parks that are in good shape, that the other great landscape architect of, of North America has moved back in uh, and is sharing Philadelphia with us. And so I hope next time that you're out walking along one of our waterways, you know, that could be the John Hines National Wildlife Refuge, that can be along the Delaware, the Schuylkill, um, Pennypack, the Taconi. We've got places all around, and, and we're in a relatively natural looking park. We've also got beaver in places like Penn Treaty Park, really well landscaped parks so you might not think of as natural spaces, and you can find them there too.